What's going on guys? Now, I love watching a game of football and seeing players receive the ball, turn out of pressure and carry on play and they make it look so effortless. Every player, regardless of their position, should have a few turns in the locker. So today, I'm going to take you through three simple turns. Now let's get going. The first skill we're going to look at is the V-Cut, which should be called the Sergio Busquets. The Barcelona man uses this skill all the time to grace past players. It might not be the fanciest skill in the book, but it's certainly effective in creating space and changing the direction of play. So if we have got any mini Busquets out there or holding centre midfielders, then this is the turn for you. See ya! So for this skill, it's all about deceiving the defender. So before we execute the skill, we want to suck the defender in and fake as if we're going one way. When the defender's committed, that's when we drag the ball back to go away in the other direction. But we have to focus on when we are dragging the ball back, that it goes back to the furthest point. Because if we leave it here, there's a chance of a swinging leg from that defender coming and tackling us. So when we do drag it back to the furthest point before we take our next touch. So, when we are doing that second touch, we need to make sure it's all in one motion. So we're not going back, stopping, and then going. It has to be all in one motion, like this. So we're already focusing on turning our body before we take that second touch. So it's dragging back, turn the body, and then we can explode away. Now, here's another term with a bit of Spanish flavour, la pelopina, or for the English, the three-point turn. I say three-point turn, but there are actually several variations of this one. We've seen it countless times from Xavi, Iniesta, David Silva and Fabregas. Here's how it looks. Like I've said, there are a few variations of this turn. The first one we're going to go through is about using the outside of your foot and taking three separate touches. So, your first one, you want to get your body in between the ball and the defender that's closing you down. Your first touch will take you back away from the defender. Your second touch is out to the side, and at this point the defender should still be behind you. Your third touch can then take you back in the direction that you were initially going. Using your body in this turn is really important. You need to make sure you know where the defender is at all times. If possible, have a look over your shoulders and check where the defender is. If you can't do that, then get your arm out and feel where your opponent is to make sure you know where they are at all times. Our second variation of this turn is using our instep. The same thing applies that we want to take three touches and end up going in the direction that we were going, but this time, like I've said, using this big part of the foot. So the first touch is exactly the same. So we need to make sure that we're positioning our body in between the defender and the ball. Our first touch takes us back away from the defender, our second touch out to the side, and our third touch back towards the direction that we were initially going. The final variation of this turn is trying to incorporate all three of those touches into one, make it one nice swift movement. So, the first touch, exactly the same thing applies. We need to make sure we get our body in our position in between the defender and the ball. Then, using the outside of our foot, we come around and we, in one movement, we go back in the direction that we were going. So rather than taking three separate touches, we're trying to do it all in one. With this, it's really important to make sure we distribute our weight onto the standing foot. So we're stepping there, all the weight comes onto that foot, we then lift, use the outside of the foot and carry on in that direction. The last term we're going to talk about is a classic, the Cruyff. Named after Johan Cruyff, it's simple but can be devastating if done right. This skill can be used all over the park to get you out of a tight situation. Even keepers have a Cruyff turn now and again. The Cruyff turn is all about tricking your opponent. 
So you need to fake it to go one way, but then you're actually chopping and going back the other way to create a little bit of space and find the pass or dribble the ball. So to perform this, what we want to do is act as if we're going to strike the ball in one direction. So our standing foot would be exactly the same as if we were going to pass the ball. But then rather than striking through the ball, we want to go over the ball and then use our instep to chop back and go back the other way. Another variation of this is rather than using our instep, we use our studs on the bottom of the boot. So exactly the same thing applies. So we plant our foot as if we're going to strike the ball, come over the ball, studs on top of it, drag it back, and then we go again back the other way. Similarly to our other turns, our weight distribution is massive. So if we're going to perform the coif with our left foot, standing foot, our right foot, we need to shift all of our body weight onto this foot as we're going up on one leg. Then when we perform the skill, we need to shift it back onto the other foot so we can push off and travel. So that's three simple turns that you can use to keep the ball and create a little bit of space for yourself. Now, you can't expect to just be able to go out there on a match day and execute these. You need to make sure you keep practicing so you don't look silly. Practice these turns enough until they become second nature, then come match day, you'll be putting defenders on their backside.